Unknown is the is the Sheik of Nexus. Yeah, but he's <laughs> yeah. he hasn't come in a while. At least I haven't seen him in a while. One. So, right. anyways, we have winners HL3K. quarters. K. We have HL Keith Ray John Numbers, and Nexus are hungry. And uh, surprisingly, he's using Corin. I was but a pebble in John Numbers' way. <laughs> I was. I had to face him after I won just once. Really? Yeah, like I have to face numbers already? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, apparently I'm surprised he's even picking corn instead of Wii Fit. Um, what do you think about this? Um, this is the first time I've seen it myself. I think it's just swords versus swords. <laughs> Probably. Like, um, numbers really likes the whole like dragon lunge, the side B. It just really helps with positioning and such. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Korin take... is... I feel Korin would have to be the best of the fire engine characters. Right now, he doesn't really need to approach. No, nah, because Korin has, like, range that goes from, like, right where I'm standing all the way up to, like, the entrance of this venue. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm gonna get you from there! Ooh, Attack! very nice fair on Hunky's part. Mm. Uh, Risky up air right there, so though. So hard for that Risky. Wow. That was, like, the hardest of reads, and oh, with the state spike. Yeah, he didn't tech it for once. Surprisingly, <laughs> I, I'm usually used to seeing him tech that kind of stuff. Yeah, but uh, I don't think he expected him to get hit. He was trying to do like a nair off stage against Marth, and then uh, Marth just slapped him with his sword. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap you with this toy sword. And so right, I'm gonna get you with a spear. Just go opting for back throws instead of like up and down throws, yeah. which are the kill moves. And there you Will go. Was that do it? Surprisingly, no. that's not a kill throw. Uh, it looks like it would be, honestly. I've heard that uh, Does up throw kill? the up throw is harder to DI, so the up throw has more of a chance of killing right now. Yeah, I, I think, think up throw would have a better killing shot, because I know forward throw, back Ooh, throw, and kill. There, goes. And there we go with the kick, yep. which it's. I feel with the kick, it's better that you mix up with it, because yeah. if you're do, if you're just ex, if you watch fifty to do that though, then you'll get punished for it. But it's, it's best to either go reverse or just cancel out of it, because yeah, or jump out of it. You gotta like mix up with that move, honestly, if you want to be, like, really, yeah. really smart about it. Because like, if you're doing the same thing constantly, then people like, aren't going to expect that. Like, like, yeah. like that, for example. He had it, though, with when he pinned him. So that was a stop, for sure, with the kick. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, now, right now, at this Ooh, point... He got the um, down throw. If you steal the down throw enough, apparently, you could follow up. Before. Yeah, I kind of think of it though. I've I've been tr I actually been testing that out last night though. I'm like, so wait, you can stale throws now? And I'm like, and then I tried like some interesting stuff. Like, oh wait, this follows up into that. Like for example, I was playing like Captain Falcon for instance, and I was like doing some stuff with a down throw, and I'm like, wait a minute, his his knee is working on all these small characters, but they shouldn't. That's because this down throw is still. But anyway, back to the match. Uh, yeah. So anyway, back back to the match though. Just a little yeah. dirty little secret there. But um, so yes, it looks pretty I, even on he's both playing cases. Corrin, I know. Um, I think he just wanted to play swords. <laughs> yeah, but the um, back throw again by numbers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this could be anybody's match though. Like on the shield breaker. The shield breaker though. It wasn't the tipper though. No, it wasn't. The, the tipper though, that would have killed. That would have sure. killed. Um, wow. Mm. But the fourth mm. throw, okay, good mix up, good mix up. That's a down. Oh, the counter, that think, that that was a little bit risky on that part. That's a down. Because I know we anticipated that. There you go. There it is. There is the counter. Yeah. There wasn't anything Corn could do at that point. He um numbers couldn't do anything. He had to recover at that point. Mm. Any lower, and he could, yeah. he wouldn't come back. Off, off stage at that point, I was like, it's over. That's yeah. it. It's gonna be a exactly. Corrin yeah. has like only one way to Taka really get on stage. Foreseeing the future, he claims. Taka confirmed for sure. Exactly. Yeah. When you're going up right. against like swords or like going after like the first couple frames of the super armor, then opting to go. stick with Corrin for this. So I think it's probably for the matchup, or I don't, I don't, I don't know, know the reason. Honestly, but this is but. Maybe he's just testing this point. Yeah, I mean it's always, I mean it's always good to experiment with, with characters though. Like a lot of people yeah. are doing it. So Honestly, anyways, uh, um, our hungry claimed that at a recent tournament he almost beat Mr. E with really? in a Marth Ditto too. He almost beat Mr. E in a Marth Ditto? That's what uh, hungry claimed. I, be I, be I believe that. Chat. I can believe yeah, that, Hungry honestly. is a really smart player, honestly. So yeah. I could His see Mark it. has been doing some really well efficient plays, though, yeah. and some pretty good I mean, spacing on the most part for I, a favorable matchup yeah. at this part. I lose to Tyrannic's Mark, and 
right now I bet I can't beat I can't beat Armand Usmars. <laughs> he just knows too much. <laughs> uh, it's more or less of a matchup thing though. That's the way I look at it though. Yeah. Like Mars, Mars is just all about spacing and stuff because a lot of the stuff he does is unsafe. Yep. And That's true. And for this matchup though, the only reason why the I would, tilt. the only reason why I say this matchup would be even. To an extent, though, I mean, I could be wrong, though. So anyone that is viewing this, please correct me if I'm wrong here, because I hate being wrong with these things. Is well, if Corn gets off stage, uh, then Mars can just wrong. counter their yeah, weight. Yeah. Can just counter their way. He threw out an aerial, and it just it didn't give him enough time to try to come back with the golden slash. Ooh, well, that, nice but that's alright, though. That's alright, though, because wow. Mars is trying to come back from that. So. Sky upper bot. Hello, welcome oh. to the chat. Welcome to the stream. And watching a down numbers playing taking out the corn. Yeah, we don't you we don't know? expect him to play corn, honestly. No, no I was expecting we fit. Wow. Did he just did he fared and then dolphin slashed? Ooh. Yeah, you can combo into it apparently. It's like because common slash comes out fairly quickly. Was it like at frame three, five maybe? That's crazy. Yeah, Dolph, yeah, Mars can get out of combos really well though, which I feel makes should make him like a better character than people tend to look him as, especially with the meta right now. <laughs> Unknown assumed that uh, numbers is gonna go back to Wii Fit uh, for this one, but he didn't. <laughs> can't I mean, can't predict numbers. <laughs> I mean, wait, yeah, like who know like who knows what will happen honestly though. Like you can yeah. never really expect like what a player would right do. Right now, numbers but... will still make it back. Numbers can make he it back, and our hungry just needs a good hit from the I temper. don't think Numbers wants to go through losers. <laughs> Nobody uh, does. Nah, uh, Mars just needs a tipper, and that would a good like tipper, depending on the attack. Yeah. Uh, both characters have tipper actually. Yeah, like Corn's tipper is Ooh, healthy like and that. good punish right there. Good punish. Uh, yeah. Down throw. Down throw. Not quite salt. doing it. Not quite doing it though. Mm. But. Waiting. Ooh, he's just waiting wow. for the next Oh, I thought he was going to get the punish right there. And power shield with the shield breaker. He didn't get Smart hit. stuff right there. Very smart. Hungry was actually waiting for the side B. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Considering it's so scary. Exactly. Like, I like, how, I like what Corrin's doing right and now with the next up. Wow. He uh, really? Good DI. Good, really well. Good DI. Good DI right there. Oh, Ooh, you I thought that shield was gonna break though. I'm like, nah, oh, that's, he that's didn't, risky. He didn't have enough charge. And oh, all right, John Numbers takes game two. Yep, it's a uh, one-one now. Jesus Christ. Do you think maybe he'll that stick with Corrin, or do you think he'll probably stick with? Most likely, Wiefer. he's gonna switch to Weefe right now, just because uh, he's done it before, where he's like, all right, I'm gonna go Corrin two games, and then I'm gonna just go back to my my main. Hmm. Either that, or he's, maybe he's gonna stick with Corrin. Okay. It looks like it right now. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, Snakey is discussing stuff with Hungry on the side. Uh, okay. Yeah. For this matchup, this, though, uh, I feel like Snake, I feel like both characters can do like certain things against each other. So that's why I think this matchup I is kind of even because they like, both have tippers. But I feel like Hungry could have used up tilt a lot more. I felt like there could have been like some tipper stuff on the spot um, though. But then again, though, it's like. Like for example, though, like like when you do like the down air with Corrin, and there's like a lingering hitbox in the last part, though. I felt like he could have done like a little something afterwards, but but with a lingering hitbox after that last hit, though, there's like a bit there's like a bit of a hitbox right there where it kind of just pushes the back a little bit, kind of like with Pikachu's like down air when it like lands or whatever. The entire thing around him is Ooh. like a hitbox, yeah. though. It's ugh. it could be aggravating for people that really hate just don't like that matchup in particular. But, um, so, what do you think has a good advantage in this matchup? I mean, I think it's even, and to an extent, and, oh, yeah, we're we bringing fit. out the Wii Fit. He brought out the Wii Fit. Time to stretch the arms and legs. <laughs> he's done it before. He's like, he's gotten corn the first two games, then it comes down to game three, and he's like, I'm going to seal it up with my Wii Fit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, his Wii Fit, he though, did that is to, something else. He did that to Tyrannic the other day, yeah. Really? To Tyrannic. Yeah. Yeah. But... So what? So what about this matchup though? Because I don't see this very often. Because I don't see that much WeFit trainer footage. Yeah. So yeah. what do you think about this particular matchup? Even though WeFit actually has to work a little bit harder to go in with some of her attacks. But one thing I've learned about WeFit though is she's not the character that you should really edge guard because a lot of her stuff completely like just beats out edge guard yeah. guarding. Yeah. When like being edge guarded against though, because a lot of her moves they either spike or just take out the jump. John just really likes to be on the ledge. 
because mm. it's really good for Wii Fit. Yeah, and when Wii Fit has a really good offense. Even game. on the stage, he still gets like really good reads like that. Yeah, like you have to be See, so knows, smart with those reads. Like, he knows how to follow up his side skill, which is pretty good. Yeah, like so, look at that. Like, That's impressive he's just right there. Playing him now, unfortunate for Humble. Yeah, he he tried to get that hard hard read. And there you go. Okay, there you go. He got at least eight. Got eighteen no, percent no, no, off of that. No, no JB stock. <laughs> <laughs> He's already at a hundred. Yeah. And numbers is not opting to go on the ledge though. Oh. He's deciding to fight him on stage. It's just interesting, using the honestly. To his advantage. Which is interesting though, because you don't usually see Wii Fits do much like on stage stuff, because Wii Fits more of like an offstage character. Yeah. Honestly though, so that's why I feel like her offstage game constitutes a lot better for her ground for her ground game, which I feel she is an extremely underlooked character. Yep, she is. So it's you like do not sleep many. on them. Yeah. Because no. I've seen like I've seen Wii Fit players do incredible things though. Yep. <laughs> because it's like the way Wii Fit works in terms of playstyle, it's just hard to describe though, because like she's so underplayed. So that's why we—that's why it's a good thing we have guys like Numbers that show us how to play her neutral properly. Yep. Um, Sky Upperbot claims that Hungry should be using F two. Yeah, I—I I would agree with that honestly though. And we, almost dying. Wii Fit is just that. playing the cards right at the moment though. Yeah. Trying to trying to get Mars to salute the sun. This is a bad position. Uh, Mark is at full range, wanna, though. You don't want to be uh, on top of Wii Fit, though. Don't be on top. You can't be on top of Wii Fit. Because the up, uh, the up air. So there good. it is. Nice one right yeah. there by John Numbers. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Mark is being smart right there, trying to make sure that nice you don't ledge guard. You saw that? You did the That's why he doesn't do the forward tilt, because we could just punish that around the spot. But then again, a lot of Mark's moves are not that safe to begin with, but he does have really good spacing. Okay, so... Pop him up with that. He's just trying to... He's just trying to... He's just trying to omt with more with, like, the... With, like, the on-stage game, which... I feel Wii Fit has to get, like, some reads and stuff to just, like, utilize anything to do on stage because if they read, like, the stuff that you do, then Wii Fit just gets punished for it, though. That's true. Ooh. I can understand why Wii Fit gets underplayed so much because their on stage game is not so hard. He got a so nair. Out there. Speaking of numbers, got a nair to a, to a up air. Mm. On stage. Yeah. Number, numbers is just, play, is just playing pretty solid right wow. now. Wow. I like it. Number, I mean, uh, Hungry is trying to be unpredictable, but the forward smash is just uh, too much life. Yeah, very nice. Alright, mm, Mart, Mart is trying to be pretty patient right now. He, he was trying to go for a back air, maybe, but the dash attack just came out. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's trying to get a mix up with the soccer ball right there. Yeah, he does a lot. Yeah, that that looks like it'd be pretty good though because you can you can follow it up with a smash attack or two. Yep. Mm. That would have been a neat spike. <laughs> he just keeps canceling it. It's a mix-up game from what I understand. Ooh, that's a he lot of shield pressure. Broke his shield, and there's the F tilt. F tilt tipper, I believe. Most likely, just like swatted him with the sword. Yeah. Fly swatter! Caught you like a fly in the web of your lies. Kind of. Wow. Unexpected up throw there. <laughs> yep, you see that? The ceiling. Streamland always did have a low ceiling. I can tell you that much right now. And melee, you didn't. Melee, it and was melee, huge. It was huge. Humongous. Huh? 